Uh, uh, you just want me to start it off here? Yes. All right. Uh, okay, Anthony. Uh, first of all, Dave Berman here, public address announcer for Chester High Football. Did your game with the Clippers, Academy Park, and the Clippers on Saturday, 28-14. Very hard-fought game. A 29-14, I think, maybe the official right. score. And a hard-fought win for Academy Park. You close out the year 4-1. and one. Chester still goes to the United 10 Championship. But, Anthony, very impressed with you. You have a great story to tell. Anthony Rodriguez, quarterback this year, number eight. And this is your first year starting at quarterback, correct? Yes. And the quarterback the last couple of years was Barry Brown, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you have a great great story to tell. Uh, And tell us your story. I mean, because you just moved, I guess, from from the Philadelphia – North Philly was an almond section down to Sharon Hill a couple of years ago. So tell us about that. Um, well, when I was four years old, I lived in North Philly. Well, from four until maybe 10, 11, or 12, I lived in North Philadelphia. Um, when I was four years old, I lost my dad. Um, then my, my, uh, well, one of my mom's friends came in and showed me the game of football. And it inspired, it inspired me because that's where I could take anger out. You know, I'm four years old. I don't know any better. I don't know where my dad, where my dad is or when he's coming back or, or anything. So then it just inspired me to play. So when I was four years old, I got into the game and I just, as soon as I got on the field, I loved it. I loved every second of it. You know, I played wherever you needed me at. I played um, defense, offense, special teams, wherever they needed me, I played. Um, and then I had a little brother and, well, we had twins. My mom had twins. And when my mom had the twins, I had a little brother that had issues. He had um, breathing issues, a whole lot of different issues. And then um, in 2017, he passed away. And that stopped everything for me. Like, I didn't even want to play football anymore. I didn't want to do anything. Like, um, I wanted to just, like, just be like nothing. Like, I just wanted to stop playing football. I wanted to just stop doing everything. I wanted to stop doing schoolwork. I didn't talk to nobody, nothing. So Yeah, I can't even imagine what that's like, but you have persevered. How did you do that? How did you get through to where you are today? A lot of people to thank. Of course, your family, your uh, Coach Wojcicki, and family at Academy Park in Sharon Hill. Well, when I uh, came down here, uh, what really made me, like, say, you know, let me keep going because I have a little sister. I have a little brother and I know they're looking up to me and they wouldn't want to see me go down and be upset and be sad. So um, when that happened, I was just like, I got to keep going. I can't stop. I got I to gotta point the food. You know, coming into Academy Park, I'm unknown. I'm not known at all. I'm just a, a five, seven Puerto Rican kid from, from North Philly that just wants to work. So I came down here with a purpose and I came down here to to make my name known. And I feel like this year I made it known. Yeah. The last couple of years or have you played, how many years have you been with the Academy Park program? Um, Since the middle of 10th grade year. Middle of 10th. And that's a, they they are one of the best high school football programs in the state of Pennsylvania, as you know, year in and year out. Coach Wojcicki has been there 16 years. So Tell us about what he's meant to you, the assistant coaches, and also Coach Kurt. Um, well, uh, Vo is he's a he's he's a good coach to me. He's he's sometimes difficult to deal with, but he's a good coach. You know, he teaches me he teaches me a lot as a quarterback and as a, a leader. Period. My eleventh grade year, I didn't have a leader mentality. You know, I was just one of them juniors I just wanted to go around and just have fun but becoming a senior was just like you know I got to do something and I got to lead my team to win and that's how he taught me to do it it's just great you guys are playing after a lot of a lot of schools down here did not get that chance in the fall Mm -hmm. and now you have the spring season so it's that's a blessing and now hopefully you've had you had a good season unfortunately I think you Chester had enough talent obviously to make noise if we had the district one playoffs and even into the state tournament too, Anthony. 
I, I, I think we do. You know, I think we had a lot of, a lot of, uh, our mentality was different from a lot of teams. Our mentality, we came into the game saying, we got to win every game. We got to, we got to give them the mentality. We got to kick their butts every time we come into the field or on the field. On and off the field, we will always talk about football. We will always talk about what it meant to us. So, you know, it was just, it was just different. All right. What's the next step now? You got the, you got to finish off this year mm-hmm. at Academy Park. You're a senior. Then hopefully in college, you're going to be a big impact player. What level I hear, you know, different schools are looking at you, obviously. What, what's the latest? Um, the latest was, uh, I had, uh, Lock Haven, IUP, Millersville. I had a lot of schools, but, um, PSAC, very good league. PSAC, yeah, one of the I, top. I had a lot of PSACs. Um, I had Lincoln. Um, it was, it was a lot of different. I'm not 100% sure, though. Do you play any other sports? I play baseball and I wrestle. Oh, so you're on, on the Academy Park baseball team. Yeah. Um, uh, how you guys doing? How you guys doing so far? Um, actually, my little brother plays. He, uh, he, he's starting. I haven't started yet because I'm still recovering from the season. My right. back is messed up. Uh, so I've been taking it easy, but I will be out there soon. Yeah, it's great. So it just, the more sports you play, the better. So yeah. what are you looking at? That, when do you think you'll make a decision on college at the next level? Um, actually, I kind of already made a decision to Millersville University. Uh, great. There you go. Division okay. two. Good, good pro. I mean, they're, they're building their coach has been there a couple of years and trying to get that thing. Going. It's a tough, tough conference, as you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I seen, uh, like my, actually my next door neighbor, he, uh, goes to Kutztown and he was just telling me that, you know, he's going to whoop me when he sees me and stuff. So got a, a few Chester guys there, mm-hmm. Kutztown and then Bloomsburg, you have the Mount, the, the, Langley boys there and a few others. So it is a Westchester. I could go on and on about the yeah. ESAC. So, well, good luck to you. Great chatting with you, Anthony. I really appreciate it. Kurt, any, uh, any thoughts from you? Well, I've, I've seen this kid blossom from four years old all the way up. Um, I coached him in Little League and you know, it's easier to start out on defense, you know, because there is no play calling like that. It's more of go get the guy with the ball at that age, you know. So as he blossomed, he bounced all around from position to position. I mean, as you know, he plays long snap. He plays linebacker. Um, he has the size of a safety he has the arm of a quarterback. Like, he's all around good football player. Once he got his mind settled on being a leader, he can become a great football player. So, with that being said, I believe he's going to go a long way as long as he's attacking his dream. No doubt about it. Well, Kurt, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And Anthony, pleasure. Hopefully I'll meet you in person someday, but great to do an interview with you here. Really impressed the other day. I, thank I really you. I appreciate it. it. All right. Thank you, Anthony. And Curtis, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. All right. All right, you guys have a great one. Thank you. you too. Keep it going. All right, Kurt, thank you. Anthony, thanks a lot, my man. All right. All right. We'll see you down the road. Yes, sir. Talk to you.